I know the lighting is a little off, but that's because I'm in my bathroom. I'm going to be showing you guys how I take care and wash my hair extensions. I know it looks really frizzy and puffy right here. It's because it's hair that gets curly when you wet it. So my mistake was brushing the curls out, which made the hair puffy. So if you have a lot of wavy curly hair and you brush it, you know how puffy it gets and frizzy. So that's the result of that. So I bought this hair at a visa supply store in the area and I forgot the type of it. I think it's um, Remy hair. I'm not too sure because I bought it like a few months ago and I threw out the packaging. It's my fault, but if I find the actual name brand or type of hair this is, I will link it down in my description box. So for this video, you're going to need aluminum foil, which is here, a brush, one to two eggs, mayonnaise, extra, I mean, olive oil, and a cup or a bowl where you're going to mix everything in. We're going to start off by brushing the hair. Let's start by breaking one to two eggs into this bowl. Of course you can just use one egg, but for this video, I chose to use two eggs instead. Time to mix all this. Flick that wrist and mix, mix, mix. So now I'm adding a tablespoon of mayonnaise, and I'm also going to be adding about two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm just doing this as an estimation. Now get ready to mix, 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 mix it all up. It should look like this now. Ooh. Since I already laid the hair there prior, I'm going to start putting the ingredients onto the hair and I'm going to speed up this process and add music so you guys won't get bored. By the way, don't be afraid of really massaging the ingredients into the hair clippings at the end. They're gonna be fabulous, guys. At this point, I realized it's better to put each hair clip in individually into the bowl because it saves time and then you just spread it on the foil. After you can fold the foil or let it air dry for about an hour or so, so now I'm going to be using my Everpure L'Oreal hair shampoo and I'm also going to be using the conditioner to wash the hair clippings. After you put the conditioner on, make sure you detangle it using a brush because it's way easier to do it this way. Now I'm just repeating the same step with the other tracks. Also, I'm sorry for having my shoulder in most of these clips. I'm a beginner, so just bear with me, guys. Bear with me. This is how the hair looks, and I'm drying it with a towel now. I'm going to be using my Tresme heat protector and spraying it all over the hair because I plan to use the blow dryer to dry it versus letting it air dry but it's all up to you guys all up to you guys
I'm going to be using this Con Air blow dryer in the low setting. I don't have a diffuser, but hopefully in the future I do for these videos. So after you finish blow drying all these clip-ins, then you'll be set to go. This is how the final product of the hair looks. It's back to being curly wavy. Um, oh, by the way, the reason why I have makeup and I'm taking sure is because I just filmed another video. The hair is softer now and it looks close to my hair. A little. Well, I need to blend in my hair to make a style. Something cool that I learned instead of sewing in the clips. To clip it on your head. There's these cool clips with these like teeth in the back that you move sideways like this. And then you just lock it and secure it. Lock and secure it like this. So basically, you need to do it again. Close it up. Close up. You put it in place, turn it, and then you just like move the little grip down, and then it's secure. So we'll go like this, and then it'll be easy to clip in. Yep. If you guys want to see another video of me making hair extensions out of a full set of hair and using the clips, then leave a comment and let me know. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.